Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt, I am the American Canadian Gamer, and welcome to your daily live commentary. So today playing some Team Fortress 2, going upward, moving on up as the big old fat heavy with the killing gloves of boxing, the iron curtain, and the sandwich, of course. The pretty standard heavy loadout, but standard does not mean bad. There's a reason certain things are standard, and it's because this works pretty well. Although, being on offense as a heavy on this map can be pretty difficult because of the long sight lines that snipers have. Snipers can really pick apart a heavy, so I have to be really careful about how I move up exactly and to make sure that I don't do it alone. I don't go down long sight lines, obviously, and I'm going to probably get backstabbed a lot. And knowing me, I am not going to pay any attention to anything I just said, and I am just going to walk out there and get killed by everyone and everything that ever existed ever. Okay, he just sticky jumped away. There's no teleporters or nothing. Always checking, always check for engineers back there. Because they're always there. They always like to build there, put up teleporters, sentries, and, you know, basically build a base back there. Because that is a really good spot to have one. And that really is. And there's a spy who's obviously a dead ringer at this point. Alright, since I got the Uber, they have a sentry up here, they have a mini. And of course I focus on the mini sentry, not the big old sentry right there. Come on! Come on! Oh, I couldn't get him. Couldn't get him. He was being repaired. I was way too far away. The spread of the minigun was too much. But I did have the healer, so I figured it was at least worth a shot. Because if somebody else had taken a pot shot at it, or the engineer had gotten killed, that might have actually been able to take down. Just because you can't take it down by yourself doesn't mean you shouldn't try. Because if a soldier had come in there and fired a, a rocket at it, or a demo man had taken a shot at it, combined with my shots, it actually probably could have gone down, despite the fact it was being repaired it may not have mattered. So just because you can't do it by yourself doesn't mean you shouldn't at least try because it is a team effort. It is Team Fortress 2 after all. With the random crits as well, doing all that work. Yeah, I really need the heals. Thank you, Medic. You are a true champion. Don't know what that spy was thinking. Take out the soldier. The Medic was somewhere over there. And instead of going right up there, I'm actually going to come back behind and see if I can take out any kind of sentry guns or anything else they might have back here. Take out the Revengeoneer first. Or he's just going to get away. Okay. Yeah, I saw that one coming. Alright, awesome. Now we got a pretty good foothold. You look like a... I really thought I just saw you disguised as a spy. But you are just a very, very, very flamboyant demo man. That's really all that comes down to. Okay, we got some pretty good momentum so far. I'm actually not going to waste. I'm going to let my team push the cart. I'm actually going to go with my medic since we have an uber charge. And if they have a base up here, we're going to go kill it is what we're going to do. Take out everything they have. And just kill it all. That's really all we need to do. How did I go from all that health to no health like that? Didn't you see that I had a ton of... I mean, maybe I didn't notice my health just go down. Maybe my medic got backstabbed and I took a crit or something. But I dropped almost instantly, it felt like, because I could have sworn I had a lot more health when I all of a sudden died. But, you know, I could be lagging, although my ping's only 59. It could have been any number of things. I probably just actually wasn't paying attention like an idiot, but I was just so focused on using that Uber to really get some momentum and take down everything they had sitting there. That was really my main goal. And there's a demo man, or there was a demo man right there, so we're not going to worry about him now. I thought maybe he went to get some health. Sentry down. Demo down. And let's go up above and... That sniper getting the heals, the, the, the sniper medic combo is trying to do some work here. I'm killing everything. <laughs> I am killing everything I come across, but it's just not enough. I mean, those kills and deaths I have right now, 2311, are kind of deceptive because I did play half a round before this one, and I didn't check out my scores. My score was 17. Now my score is 42, or was it 27? I think it was 17, now it's 42, so I'm not doing too awful bad. We've almost captured this point, so if I can get back up there and at least help them push that little tiny inch that that cart needs to go to capture this point, we will be okay. Because that's all we need is about an inch. 
You know, everybody can use another inch. That's really all that comes down to. Another inch never hurt a thing. Although now they've got a level 3 sentry. A good demo man will be able to just kill that because it's in a really bad spot. And just a uh, just some stickies around that corner will just drop. We'll just drop that sentry gun like it's nothing. Because it's right around the spot where you could probably get plenty of splash damage. Maybe five stickies. Four or five stickies from that distance would probably take it out. And it looks like sentry guns are going down. And a mini sentry actually killed a sentry gun. Although a mini sentry I think is more powerful than a level one. But it, it pales in comparison to a level two. I think is how the hierarchy works. Eat this very quickly. Hopefully not die in the process. Thank you for not being an enemy spy. That would have killed me. And the Revengeineer, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Dominating me. I wonder how many times he's actually killed me. And if the other times were just... Um, just assists from his sentry or sentry gun. I almost think that Engineer... Although, no, never mind. I'm not going to say that. I almost said that maybe Engineer Domination should be split between the actual Sentry Gun and the Engineer, but then that's not fair to say because the Sentry Gun is the Engineer at that point. And they have a lot of Sentry Guns, so we're actually going to swap out to the Demo Man. We're going to take the Pain Train and the Lock and Load, and we're going to see if we can't dismantle that base that they have right there because that's really going to cause us a lot of pain and suffering in the coming days. One Sentry down which was actually just a mini sentry that I took down. Okay, maybe that's not the best. Let's actually lock and load, can kill a bunch of people. Let's go direct hit and, oh, not the Zaituichi. Let's go direct hit and we're actually gonna go out and around from a distance. And from back here, we're gonna try and take out these sentry guns with the direct hit from way back here, from way, way back here. All the way from left field. Just like that. Four rockets should do plenty on that. I have no idea what just hit me. Thank you for all of the help, sir. I sincerely appreciate it. You know what? All of you. All of you just go. All right, let's go back to heavy. Now that we've taken care of the centuries, although they're rebuilding, are we really not going to get past this point, people? Can you push? Can you push at all? Is that something that you're capable of doing? I killed both centuries and another one, I think, as well with my direct hit. And you're all having trouble just pushing just a little bit. Just a little bit. All we need is just a little bit of a push. Come on, team. You can do it. Don't stand there and taunt. Just go in. Go in, it's not, our, our respawn is right here, it's not going to be a problem if you get killed, because we're blue team, we respawn quickly, our respawn is right next to the cart. If we just zerg them and just throw enough bodies at them, eventually, they're not going to have enough resources to fight back against us, because their respawn is too far away, and they have a much longer respawn time than we do. It just won't work for them. We can keep the advantage if we do it this way. And I'm really mostly just worried about that sniper at the moment. That's really my biggest fear of snipers and spies right now. Because right now I'm kind of a sitting duck for anybody with a long range weapon or a backstab. I probably would be the first one to go down to a backstab. Because if I was going to backstab the cart right now, I would kill me because I'm a heavy. No other reason. No other reason. He was going to try and force a nature people off. That's exactly what he was thinking. And our sniper just got sniped. So there is a sniper, probably the one using the uh, Machina, is watching the point right now. I'm just hoping I don't get air blasted off. Because there is a pyro coming. I just need to stay behind the cart because that sniper is right there. There we go. Perfect. Nice Uber timing. Although you dropped the Uber right after you popped it. 
There it is again. That's okay. That's okay, because we did get that point captured. Now I can see they have a sentry gun around that corner, which is actually another bad location for a sentry gun right there, because that's actually pretty much a heavy. A heavy can take that out really easily, which is what I'm going to probably try to do. And that is a really good spot for a heavy to go after. Ah, oh, perfect. I love you, Medic. You are a champion and a friend. There were too many targets to worry about. I did not know which one to focus on. I saw the heavy. I saw the sentry. I should have just focused on the heavy and tried to take the heavy down. And instead of leaving both of them alive, even if you're not going to kill the priority target, stay focused on what you try to take out in the beginning. Learn from my mistake and just focus on the target you focus on because it's better to kill at least one of them than to leave both of them alive. It always is. Always. That is not a smart move for me to be doing. I should not be trying to take out that sentry gun in that manner. And right here is where heavies kind of have a little bit more trouble on this map as well. I mean, simultaneously, this is one of the best and worst parts for heavies because you, you really can take advantage of the choke points. But at the same time, the choke point is surrounded by areas that are great for snipers and sentry guns. And that's really bad for you. So it's really kind of the best and worst spot for a heavy to be able to fight on this entire map. Of course there's a mini sentry. Of course there's a mini sentry. There's always a mini sentry. Just expect them everywhere. They're always in the weirdest locations too. They're never consistent. At least with a level 3, you can generally expect to know where a level 3 is going to be. But mini sentries, they're just there. And they just show up and ruin the party. They rain on parades. That's what they were made to do. They're parade rainers. Although somebody did destroy the sentry gun, which is really good. That means we actually have a shot now. Okay, how close are we to this? How close are we to this? Okay, we're actually not doing too awful bad. If, as long as they don't get another level 3 back up and running, we actually should be okay. And that engineer building that teleporter has probably been one of the biggest things helping us. And there we go. 52 points that round, completely dominating everybody. I got more points and everything. And that was a really, really, really good round. I'm really happy with how all of that went. I am very, very, very happy. Very happy with that. So... We're going to end it right there on that very happy note. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt, and I'll see you next time.